So one of the most common questions that's asked in our office is, should I use insurance for a rhinoplasty where I cannot breathe from my nose? So first of all, let's define what a cosmetic rhinoplasty is and a functional rhinoplasty. Cosmetic rhinoplasty is where we change the outside appearance of the nose. And insurance never covers this component. A functional rhinoplasty is which helps the nose breathe and or function better. And this is the component where insurance can help some patients. Cosmetic and functional parts of the nose, there is some overlap in some patients. The cosmetic component is, again, going to be overlapping with the functional component into this little gray area, and that can be when you straighten the outside of the nose. However, for insurance purposes, um, the functional portion is only covered in this bracket over here. So the rhinoplasty cost without insurance is usually very straightforward. You have a surgeon's fee, and in this fee, he's bundling in the cost, both the cosmetic and functional component here. And then you have the anesthesia and facility fee. And this is the component where you're gonna pay for the services of an anesthesiologist and a surgeon center. In this part, the rhinoplasty cost with insurance, you're still gonna have your surgeon's fee. However, over here, You'll notice that your anesthesia and facility fee is a little bit lower. However, you have an additional fee. The anesthesia and facility fee are now going to bill your insurance. And this number is a lot higher. Let's find out why this went higher. Well, when you're billing insurance, there's three components of insurance you have to account for. You have a deductible, a coinsurance, and a maximum out-of-pocket. The deductible is the amount you pay before your insurance pays anything. If your deductible is $2,000 and you've paid $500 of medical procedures for the year, you still have to pay $1,500 more for the calendar year. And at the end of the calendar year, it resets back to zero. So if you have a high deductible plan, odds are you should not use insurance for a combined cosmetic functional rhinoplasty. The coinsurance is the amount you pay in cooperation with your insurance. If your insurance is 80-20 insurance, after you've met your deductible, your insurance will kick in and cover 80% of the cost and your patient will pay for the remaining 20% of the cost. The maximum out-of-pocket is the amount you can pay for a given year and that's the amount. Sometimes it's 4000 but oftentimes it's $8,000 and up. So we're going to find out why it's more expensive. Why did they get this number of $4,000? And that reason is the insurance will be billed about $50,000 by a facility or hospital. This is not the surgeon billing this. This is the facility, hospital, surgery center, or wherever you're having your procedure done. Since they're billing you $50,000, even if you've met your deductible of $2,000, if they're billing $50,000, 20% responsibility of that is going to be $10,000. Or if your max out of pocket is $5,000, it's going to be $5,000, which is quite a bit more than you would have paid if you just paid for the cosmetic component. So here's the summary slide I want you to look at. So in both cases of the same nose, in one case using insurance, in one case not using insurance, you have a cosmetic fee of $8,000. Um, in one point, you're going to pay everything for the facility out of pocket. In another point, the insurance is going to cover you're gonna pay out of pocket for one hour and the insurance will pay for the functional component, which will be in most cases higher than if you didn't.